who goes? Do I go or do you go? Okay, you know, you don't have to. Today, I really want to show you guys how to rig a Nico rig. The only problem is, is I don't have pretty much any of the tools that I need to make this video. I am uh, on my way right now. I'm gonna get some of the tools I need to make this rig. Hopefully, hopefully I can film this, rig this rig up in a very short amount of time because I have class. Actually, I have to print off some homework assignments within a three hour period and then go to class within a four hour period. So, I think I gotta go straight and then take a right and then I'm good. Look at this. This is freaking cobblestone from the 1800s. I found it. I did it. All right, I've made it. Now I have to find what I need to make this Nico rig happen. Can I help you? Uh, I'm looking for small nails. This is basically what I need here. Three seventy three, bro. <laughs> There's four and five. You want to back for that? No, I'm cool. Thanks. Take care. Hey, Got the nails. Now it's time to do the rigging. Okay, so I am at the uh, spot that I'm going to film this. I've got my nails. That's really what makes and revolves and ties this whole rig together is these nails. These are hardware nails. These are stuff that you you know you put in your wall or into wood, but uh, works for this application. Of course, I come over here to show you this tutorial on Nico rigging. I've got Paul Bunyan to my left cutting down trees with a chainsaw, so I don't know. I'm gonna think of some other way to do this tutorial. No good. Okay, so I finally found a nice quiet spot on the river to film this video. And uh, I might actually catch one here. It actually looks pretty nice. The current is moving at a steady pace as to where maybe you'll be able to catch a fish on this Nico rig. But before I do that, I need to show you guys how to rig this. This is what the video is all about. I know it's taking me so long to get to this point, but it's all worth it. Before I begin, I want to go over a few things that you're going to need in order to execute this rig in the, in the way that it's supposed to be executed. So you're going to need a specific type of hook. The one hook that I really like to use is this little decoy. I believe this is a size 3 finesse hook. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a super awesome hook. I use it for drop shot fishing, and uh, it's perfect for this rig as well just because of the shape and the design the decoy put around this hook you're gonna need some nails I picked up two types of nails today I picked up long skinny ones and I also picked up some ones that actually have a little bit of a serrated side on there so it maybe will stick in the plastic a little better the key is to get a nail that's inexpensive you can buy nails for this that are specifically for this but I find that these nails work very well these are made of zinc uh, so they're not exactly super heavy, but they're heavy enough, and you can get a bunch. This is 219 for, I believe, I don't know how many is in here, but there's an absolute ton in here. Rather than buying, like, an expensive pack of tungsten ones or lead ones or something like that, these are heavy enough, and if you lose one, it's no big deal, and you're going to lose a lot of these. So you've got your hook, your nail, the only thing we're missing is the worm. Now, there's a variety of different worms I like to use for this. The one in particular that I'm going to try out today is this Biosun. Exo stick. Only because the bottom portion of this is perfect for Nico rigging. You need a worm with a large bottom portion. If you don't, like let's say if you're using a trick worm, the key really is to find the fattest area on the worm. So the head is probably the best place to put that weight in there. And if you can't get a good spot, what I'd like to do is bite the tip off so I have a flat side and a flush area to stick that nail weight into. So what we're going to do is we're going to first hook our worm, hook our worm up before we even put the nail in. And what I like to do is I like to kind of look, so this is the area that I think I'm going to put that nail in. Visualize, see which area you think you're, you're going to want that nail to go in, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the hook facing upwards from the area, not downwards. The, the hook point's not going to go down into where I'm going to put the nail, it's going to go away from it. 
So I'm going to pick kind of a, not, you're not going to go in the middle like you would a wacky room. I'm going to kind of go a little bit below that. And these little exo sticks are perfect for this. And then boom, I'm going to go out like that. So instead of hooking it like this, like with a wacky room, so it's moving like this, I go through. Almost like if I were about to start a Texas rig. So you see right there, I got that hook point. I go up, about a quarter inch, and then out. And again, you don't do it right in the middle. I'm going to take my little zinc nail right here, and I'm just going to stick it right in the bottom portion of that worm until it's completely in there where you can barely see it. And these nail weights will probably stay in there for fairly well, actually, just because they have that groove in there that'll keep them in there. So that's your Nico rig for the most part. It's a poor man's Nico rig. It's not the not the most ideal Nico rig. Some finesse, super finesse guys are probably going to roll their eyes at this, but for those of you guys that don't, out there who don't have a whole lot of money to spend on tungsten and stuff like that, it's a great alternative to fish a Nico rig without dropping top dollar. That was not expected to be honest. They don't really catch a whole lot of fish in this area. That's what Nico Regan can do. It can catch you fish in areas that are highly pressured. This is right by my school, Hawking College, and kids come down here constantly throwing chicken liver, throwing little grubs, and they're catching fish of this size. But the Nico Rig produces bites in areas where you, you know, don't normally get bit because it's such a subtle and versatile way to catch fish. to get a creative shot. I just took this really nice smallmouth. Sure enough, I'm gonna go down and get this dude. Oh. <sighs> Nika rig strikes again. <laughs> well, I thought it was a giant. I mean, it was fighting really hard. I thought like I had a little flathead catfish. Who would have known? I come out here to film a tutorial. I end up catching a few decent smallmouth before class. I'm gonna come down here and release this dude. I had to come all the way down this little ditch area just to grab him. It's something else. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I know it wasn't the most exciting one, but this is a video I've been wanting to do for quite some time because the Nico Rig really is one of the most effective finesse styles of fishing for a tough bite. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay tuned for the next episode of Fishing in the Midwest.